Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on OUGrizzlies.com. My name is Neil Rule. We're here with Coach Campy and Coach getting ready to head out to Chicago to take on UIC, uh, a team that hasn't won a game in the league yet. But that record may be a little bit deceiving. Well, there's no question it's deceiving. I mean, I, <laughs> they've, they should have won here. We got lucky and threw a shot in at the buzzer to beat them. So, I mean, they, they didn't. It wasn't luck either. I mean, they should have won the game. They were better than we were that day, and we were the ones that were lucky to win. They've had that happen to them four or five times. They're just kind of a snake-bitten team that's, you know, got some young guys trying to find a, trying to find their way and trying to find a way to win. And, um, you know, we've got to make sure it's not us that, you know, they're going to win and they're going to win a couple games. We just have to make sure it's not us. And Coach, when you look at that, is there maybe some added pressure going in? You know it's very rare for a team to go through a conference season without picking up a win. You know at some point they're going to break through. Does that add any kind of pressure to it? Oh, we worry about us. You know, it's it, our game preparation and all we do is about Oakland. It's not about anybody else or their worries or their problems or whatever they've got going. Every team's got problems. Every team's got issues. Every team's got injuries. Every team's got guys sick. Every team's got something going on. And, you have to worry about yourself and prepare yourself. We got to go play. It's an important game for us. Uh, we're gonna, you know, for us to get a home court in the tournament, we got to win our last three. If that'll guarantee it. If we win two of the three and we get a break here or there, then we'll have a home court too. So, you know, it, we've got three left and we got to win all three. If we do, we'll have home court. Uh, one of the big topics that's been talked about last night, you and I talked about it on your radio show as well. Uh, Ralph Hill and his play at the four. He got a couple spot starts. He's come through pretty big. Talk about what he's been able to do for this team. Well, I'm really excited about that. You know, he's starting to, to get a, some confidence in himself. He's still physically not ready to play much because, you know, he, he didn't play all year uh, with the injuries and the legs and all that and, you know, health-wise. Then physically, physical fitness-wise, he's really not, even though it's late in the year, he's more like it's in September for him. Um, he was really gassed in that game the other day. And, and you know, it's just going to take some time for him. He, he's going to play. He's going to get more minutes every game. And if he can play like he played the last two games, it's like we have a new player on our team that we, you know, that we added a, a player late at, in the at season. At the trade deadline. So, yeah, right at the trade deadline, which well, that turns out pretty good, right? Uh, so if he can play like that, it, it's really going to give us a boost and help our team. we got Tommy's back from the suspension. He's going to play on Friday. And, you know, now all of a sudden, now we got a little depth, which is something we haven't had. You know, if Ralph can play that way and Ralph can give us 20 to 25 minutes, um, that, that would really help our basketball team. All right, Coach, certainly do appreciate the time. Fans can catch a broadcast on Detroit's 1130 AM WDFN. Thanks a lot for the time, Coach. We'll see you on the bus. All right, Neil. Thanks.